an animal. It's an animal. It's a vicious animal. Hey, fuzzy biker here. Look what I got behind me today. We're at Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Marty. And look what they have out for us today. Have you ever seen anything like that? It's a, it's a beast. It's a, it's an animal. It's a wolverine. It's a, it's a bear. It's a, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's amazing is what it is. Zard exhaust, big heavy duty tires on there. What happened to the front fender? Look at those bars. Good grief. And check out that back end. I love it. You know what? Let's go take that smoker for a ride. Wahoo! Check out this thing, huh? Is that cool or what? Zard? Zard pipes? Oh man, this is going to be a blast. Five, four, three, two, one. That's that Zard pipe. What a hot rod, what a hot rod. <laughs> if y'all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle, the mighty metropolis of Marty, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure and tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. <laughs> I had to think about which foot the shifter was on. I just got done riding a BSA with the uh, right side shift. <laughs> it's a rough life, it's a rough life. We're gonna take it easy. He did the mods on this bike and I haven't ridden it yet. So uh, first ride, I wanna kinda see what we got going here. So this is a Super Meteor 650, kind of. Looks a lot like one, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, is it fun to ride. I love the sound. The sound is amazing. Got a 648 CC engine, parallel twin, air-cooled, oil-cooled. Stock form, 47 horsepower, about uh, 39 foot-pounds of torque. Beautiful sound through that Zard pipe. That's uh, about 53 newton pounds. Oh, she's a beauty. She is a beauty. What a machine. What a machine. This is a work in progress. Baxter Cycle has uh, taken this one and then some... Uh, well, they've done some penciling and chopping and uh, doing this and doing that. And they've got parts off to the paint shop. And uh, it's going to be quite the machine when it's all done. <laughs> we'll try to keep track of the build as it goes. So far, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> These bikes have got a 59 inch wheelbase. That's about uh, 1500 millimeters. You know, that pipe gets a little warm. <laughs> it's a Zard pipe. Made for an interceptor. Let's see if there's anybody behind us. I don't see anybody. Do the, uh... oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Handles like a dream. These bikes are just a hoot. Royal Enfield really does it right. If you're ever in the mighty Minitropolis of Marnia, Iowa, get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there. Good eats, good eats. It's a torque monster. You know, it looks like an old bike, but it's a modern machine. This is, uh, these just came into the States about a month ago. Can't keep them on the floor. <laughs> they're usually sold before they hit the floor, but uh, just amazing what they're gonna do. They've got a headlight coming. There's no headlight on this one yet, but uh, what a machine. <laughs> How many times have I said that, huh? Ah, 320 millimeter disc brake on the front. Dual piston, vibri, caliper. The rear is a 300 millimeter disc with a dual piston vibri. Also, this bike has excellent brakes. There's been a lot of talk about the brakes on these. And I will tell you that uh, this has good brakes. I've got one of these myself in stock form and I've got uh, 2,300 miles on it, I think, already. It's just a hoot. These are just wonderful bikes. I rode mine down to uh, Carthage, Missouri back uh, a couple days ago. 700 mile ride in two days. And it was just an absolutely wonderful thing. And this is just a real beast of a thing here. They really, <laughs> I'm gonna take it easy because you know, we're just uh, <laughs> just getting used to it. <laughs> oh, is it hard to not lay into it, my friends. These bikes have got the upside down 43 millimeter Showa forks. So they're Showa forks, cast wheels on the front. I think the front tire is a 19 and the rear is a 16. I think it's a 190 on the front. Can't remember what the back is, maybe a 150 or a 160. It's a pretty good size one. Uh, wet weight in stock form, 
Hey, you know, we haven't been to the left here in a while. Let's try, let's try that road out. Wet weight in stock form is supposed to be 531 pounds. That's 241 kilograms. Now this one's had some bits and pieces taken off, cut up, lightened up a bit. <laughs> so I'm thinking it'll be a little less than that. That's wet weight, by the way. It'll spin, it'll spin. <laughs> oh, what a hoot, what a hoot. An absolute joy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This thing is a monster. I just, this is a joy to ride. <laughs> ABS brakes, by the way, no traction control. Hey, let's go up here and go the other way. <clears throat> just, um, oh. He offered to lend this to me for the weekend. I said no, and I think that was a wise choice. What a machine. What a machine. Seat height in stock form is 29.1 inches, I believe. That's 739 millimeters. I don't know why I'm giving you all these stock specs. There's nothing stock about this thing. This thing is a real, it's an animal. It's an animal. It's a vicious animal. I can't wait to see this done. I, uh, and he's keeping his, uh, ultimate goal kind of a secret so we're just going to kind of have to go along for the ride what a beautiful bike you know these things are just a wonderful machine they uh royal Enfield just headed out of the park with this bike the super meteor is is in a class of its own i really believe that i've ridden a few of them now half a dozen of them and uh, they're just a load of fun and of course this one's extra fun because of what they're doing to it you know the games you're playing with it that's what i like about these guys they've got vision And uh, that always makes life more exciting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but there's not a single lawnmower, chainsaw, generator around here. That's all motorcycles. Everything around here has got two wheels. There isn't a three-wheeler, a unicycle, or four-wheeler. Everything is three wheels. You know, two wheels, I'm sorry. And that's the way a real motorcycle shop is, by gully. All right, my friends. If you all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, gizmos, thingamajigs, gear, t-shirts, bags, information, knowledge, books, anything at all. Get yourself over here to the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, the Baxter Cycle, or go to baxtercycle.com. They can help you out. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now it's a beautiful day, and I am going to go ride myself some motorcycle. Wahoo!